Hi guys, Geraldine Ralph, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I have an early childhood program in my home where I care for is six tiny people and one tiny Yorkie. So I'm gonna be sharing some training videos today with my little Yorkie, you can hear her walking around over here. Um, we've had Stella for about three and a half months and Stella is my fourth dog. Hi, you wanna come say hi to everybody? Say hi. She's the fourth dog that I've had with young children. And I think it's so important to go about bringing a young dog into your home the right way so that you can be really successful in having the children and the, the puppy in your home and having a really good, happy relationship between all of them. So uh, for my, my early childhood program, we've had, let's see, we've had Stella for about three and a half months now. And I've been working on a list of different commands that I've been working on with her. And I know if you're running a program and you have your own children at home, it can seem like a daunting task to be training your dog every day. I literally take 15 minutes a day. Some days I don't get to it, but most days I do just, I just say, I literally set a timer on my refrigerator. I'm like, I'm gonna take 15 minutes and 15 minutes are for Stella because I want Stella to be happy. And I want her, um, I want to know that, you know, we're all living a happy, stress-free life. And she knows we have a good communication, just like with the kids, we have a schedule and, um, that time is Stella time. Anyway, so some of the commands that I am working on with Stella, I like to keep my commands right here on my dry erase board. So in case in the morning I'm like, I get bored or I'm like, what am I training her? Or I feel like, oh, this isn't worth the time. I just wrote this list today and there are like 15 different things that I've been working on with her and it's making a huge, huge, huge impact on uh, the quality of relationship that Stella and I have and the quality of relationship that Stella has with the children. So those 15 minutes every morning are really super important. So I'm gonna read the list to you because uh, it'll be backwards if I look at it on my cell phone here. So I'm working on basic come. That one is <laughs> tricky. Sometimes she comes, uh, most of the time she comes, but sometimes she likes to play games with me and she'll run around and uh, ignore me whenever I call her name. So I put a leash on her so I can reel her in and just make sure that I'm reinforcing that come. So when she's out playing, I will put her on the leash and I'll just be like, I'll call her and if she doesn't come back to me, then I reel her back in and have her come to me and then I give her a treat and you know, praise her and all that other stuff. So we're working on come, sit, stay, leave it, heal, crate, that's going into her crate, place, uh, high five, weave. I just started that one with her the other day. I have been in quarantine for two weeks, so I thought I might as well teach her a new trick. Uh, the weaving trick is I just put out some cones and then I have her weave through the cones. I thought it would be really fun for her to do that for the kids one day. Um, I also do high five, oh, high five, weave and up. And then I'm also working on put up your dukes. She's been <laughs> bringing me her toys lately and she loves to kind of give high fives with both of her hands. So she'll bring her toy and she wants me to play tug of war with her. Sometimes I feel like playing tug of war. Sometimes I don't feel like playing tug of war. So whenever, when, when she has her toy there and she's giving it to me, I'll just kind of pretend punch and then she'll kind of pretend punch back and she'll hold onto her baby and it's really cute. Anyways, hopefully she'll do that today and I'll be able to get that in there for you. And I'm also working on teaching her to be calm while I'm brushing her. I've been thinking about learning how to groom her myself at home because I'm all about saving money, guys. Um, Yorkies are not cheap. They, <laughs> they're they little, but they need a lot of things. Like her grooming, I don't know, every three months. I'll have to see how much it is now. My last Yorkie, I think it was like 50 bucks uh, every three months. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I mean, obviously I can afford 50 bucks every three months, but if I can do it at home and it's another bonding activity with her, whatever, maybe I'll just do it. So we'll see how that goes. So, but she does have to be good at getting brushed every day. So if you have a dog, um, I would definitely suggest just practicing brushing and giving treats every day and just getting them comfortable with the brush because even if you choose not to groom your dog, somebody else is gonna groom your dog and you don't want it to be a stressful event for your dog or for the other people. So anyways, without further ado, I am going to show you some of the tricks that I have been teaching Stella. Um, this morning she got into one of my plants and so she was kind of throwing up so she didn't really eat that much. Um, one other trick, or she hasn't eaten that much, so hopefully she'll be hungry. I don't know, we're gonna see how it goes. I mean, if it doesn't work out today, then we will definitely be making this video another day because I do train with her every day. Um, it is important to puppy-proof your house. So 
we had, I just bought this hydrangea. It's beautiful. I thought I could put it up in my family room and I had it on this table in here. I'll show you where I had it. And Stella decided to make a snack out of it. So it was right here on this table. I thought it'd be really pretty in the entryway right next to my couch. And Stella thought it looked delicious. So then she was eating it. And um, yeah, I found some vomit on the carpet with some hydrangea flowers in it. And then she was shaking afterward and that's not good. So that means that she has had a toxic uh, event <laughs> with the hydrangea. So we have to keep all the plants up. Anyway, she is ready to rock and roll. Are you ready to train little girl? Oh, look at, she's already jumping up. She's like, where's my treat mama? This is, this is one of the places I teach her to jump up. Anyways, I'm going to get it set up here and I'm going to show you all the things that Stella does. Okay, before we get started, I'm just going to show you the treats that Stella likes. She's really into these. They're chicken liver treats. <laughs> As you can see, she's going a little bit nuts so for them right now. Um, and I just take them, um, the ones that are in here, they're like, I don't know, they're larger size treats. They're like this big. And I take them and I cut them up into quarters. And sometimes I even make them smaller because she's a Yorkie. So she has a tiny tiny tummy. And if you're working with a puppy, a puppy's going to have a really small tummy too. So you want to make sure that your dog is hungry and that you try to train around the same amount of time so that your dog's excited. Just like with the kids, whenever they know it's project time or they know it's time to go outside, they get excited because they know this is a part of their day that they're going to be doing something fun. So I have her ready to go. Sometimes she's a little bit hesitant at first uh, to take her traits. So we'll see how, she, how she's doing. So first I'm going to set up her little obstacle course. Little one, go. Come on, up, sit, down, stay. Good, stay. So we're working on a 20 second stay. Okay, good girl, yes, good girl. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, Stella, high five. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Weave. Yes. Good weave. Come on. Weave. Yes. Good weave. Good weave. Yes. Good girl. High five. You did it. Yes, you did. You're a smart girl. Let's see. One more thing that we're going to show you is how to teach her how to go into her crate. So right over here, this is her playpen. This is where she spends most of her day when I am working with the kids. What are you doing here? Oh, you're excited, huh? Excuse me, lady. Here we go. Oh, so we're gonna teach crate. And this is a really good skill for your dog to have so that you're not chasing your dog down. Come on, crate. Good girl. So if I wanted to keep her in there, then I would just close the crate. <gasps> Good girl. Playing tug of war is a great way for your puppy to get some of that pent up energy out. It's really important for puppies to tease, just like it's important for babies to tease. Sometimes they can get a little bit grabby with the toy and accidentally get your fingers. So I do not allow the children to play tug of war with my dog because I want her to not grab things from children. And I don't really feel like the kids are old enough to be able to direct her to let go. So I am going to show you a simple way that I am working on the leave it command with her. Oh, you psychopath. Uh, teaching her to leave the toy and also to reduce the amount of excitability around her toys because she gets really excited around her toys, which if she, right now she's a puppy, so it's not a, it's not that hard to redirect that behavior. But as she gets older, she might become possessive over her toys. And we really don't want her to be possessive over her toys. I want her to learn to let go of the toys whenever I want her to let go of it. So I'm just going to show you how I teach her to leave it with the toy. So uh -uh, leave it. Yes, good girl. That's a good girl. Ah, good girl. So just giving her really concrete boundaries around the toy. Okay, go get your baby. And then throwing the toy away and then having her bring the toy back and then having her release the toy. Another way you can do it if you don't have a treat. Ah, ah, sit. Good girl. Go get your baby. Just by throwing another toy. This time she won this toy. <laughs> so I'm just going to grab some more treats for her because... I don't want her to grab the toy away from me. I want her to know that tug of war time is over. We're done with tug of war. Sit. 
Yes, good girl. Ah, 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 ah. Sit. Yes, go get your baby. So now she's learning that when mommy says it's time to put the toy down, it's time to put the toy down. Good girl, sit. Yes, ah, 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 ah. no, sit. Yes, good girl, go get your baby. Where's the baby? Go get your baby. Good girl. I'll show you that again. We're gonna play tug of war. Get it, get it, get it. Rawr. I want her to know it's okay to play tug of war. It's a lot of fun. If she gets too crazy or when I want to end the game, that's when we're going to end the game. Okay, drop it. Yes, good girl. Sit. Yes, good sit. Here we go. <gasps> go get your baby. And then I'm going to throw the toy away and then have her bring it back to me. And we're just going to practice. Where's your baby? Having her bring toys to me and release them so that she knows that I'm in charge of the game. Yep, good girl. And I'm in charge of the toys. Ah, 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 ah. Sit. And that she can't just snatch them from me like that. Go get your baby. Good girl. Come on. There we go. Sit. Ah, ah, ah. Sit. So I'm just still leading her into a sit with my treat. Ah, ah, ah. Sit. Yes, good girl. And teaching her we're going to play tug of war and then we're going to play fetch. And then we're going to play tug of war and we're going to play fetch. And always she has to... Give the toy to me when I'm ready. Whoops. <laughs> For her to be done. Here, you want to play tug again? Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it. Drop it. Or leave it. Good girl. Go get your baby. Good girl. Sit. Sit your little booty down, lady. Ah, 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 ah. Sit. Good girl. Go get your baby. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I hope you enjoyed our video today. Stella and I are going to get ready for our morning walk because I don't have any kids today. So it's going to be nice to get out in the sunshine and enjoy a beautiful sunny day walk. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed our video. Make sure that you leave a comment if you have any questions or information that you need to uh, help break down some of the steps for training. I'm happy to create more content for you. Have a fabulous day.